Hello, music students. It's me, Miss Holman. I'm reading through the lessons for you. If you have a lot of questions on these lessons, um, please ask them. It's, it's a good idea. It's what I'm here for. It's what I'm here to help you with. Um, notes are a great idea because not only is it going to help you uh, finish this course, but it's going to help you musically um, to have this stuff kind of in your brain. Um, the vocabulary is good to have, and then any notes you have. And uh, write down your questions as you're going through. Um, and then you can email me or get a hold of me, however you'd like to get a hold of me. There are many ways. Um, we're just going to get started. So we do have, this is our Unit 3, uh, Lesson 1, Musical Instruments. So we have, <coughs> we're going to be talking about the types of musical instruments first, and then later on in the lessons they get more in-depth as to what those are. So we have acoustic, which is a musical instrument that produces sound without electronic amplification or modification. Aerophone, it's a musical instrument that produces sound through vibrating a column of air, which is like a wind instrument. Chordophone is a musical instrument that produces sound through the vibration of strings. So that's violin, viola. Uh, idiophone is a musical instrument that produces sound by the instrument itself vibrating when struck. And a membranophone, which is a musical instrument that produces sound from a membrane that has been stretched over a frame, usually drums. So the first two units of this course are focused on how music is organized, with an emphasis on rhythm and pitch. We covered the basics of music theory, including how to read, notate, perform, and even do some basic composing. In this unit, we're going to examine in detail how the music is made by exploring the world of musical instruments. Woohoo! Over the course of history, there have been almost an uncountable number of instruments that have been invented and perfected to make music. We will have to limit our study to those most widely used today, but don't let this discourage you from investigating on your own. Um, there's a lot of rare instruments that are really, really cool that you can look up and find, and they're really awesome. Uh, the goal here is to make you, uh, it's not to make you a proficient musician of all these instruments or even begin to teach you how to play them. Mm -mm. Um, this takes hours of practice to do that. You know that. Um, but you should be familiar with the common instruments and be able to recognize the sounds they make and understand the basics of how they're played just to know how to make music. Um, these are the different ways to classify the musical instruments. Before we consider the specific instruments, now let's look at the funda fundamental ways that music can, the way that instruments can produce sound. I'm sorry, brain, not working. Uh, one way a performer can introduce sound is by using one or more of the strings that have been stretched over specific distance at a specific tension. We call the instruments that produce music through the stretched strings chordophone. Strings can, be produ can produce music by being rubbed, struck, or plucked. If you ever stretched a rubber band and then plucked it to make a sound, that's how a chord phone does it. Another way that a performer can produce sound is through a membrane that has been stretched over some sort of frame and that vibrates when it's struck. These types of instruments are the membranophones. Um, a whole bunch of different drums fall into this category and they can be tuned and untuned. A third type of instrument is an idiophone. It's an instrument which itself, when struck, um, it vibrates. Um, this is like a cymbal. So when you, s you, the instrument itself is what's making the noise not you pushing different keys, it's the metal itself is being struck. Um, the aerophone is another one. It creates music through a column of vibrating air, usually produced by a performer blowing into a wind instrument. But you can change the length of the tubing um, either way, whether it's uh, wind instruments or brass instruments. You change the size of the tubing by doing different fingerings. Um, all of the categories so far would be considered acoustic instruments because they require physical, a physical instrument to produce the sound. Musical instruments can also be electronic, using electricity to produce the sound. They either imitate an acoustic instrument or create an entirely new distinct sound, which means there's another category, which is the electronic instruments. These are newer. So, so the first couple are the traditional ones. <coughs> Although classifications based on sound produce production are helpful in distinguishing how sound is produced by different types of musical instruments, they are not uh, the categories most often used to classify musical instruments. Musical instruments are traditionally divided into four or five groups that are sometimes called families. These groups are mostly aligned to the classification based on the method of sound production, um, but there are 
quite a few exceptions. Um, five traditional categories in Western music are strings, woodwinds, brass, percussion, and keyboards. There are wide variation between these, um, and they all have different timbers in the group. Um, and even within the group, there are variations in the range and sound. You know, berry, tenor, alto. Um, well, we're going to examine each group closely and become familiar with that sound. Um, and that's in the following lessons, I believe. Um, this little box kind of goes through how you can build your own instrument at home. If this is something you would like to do, that's fantastic. I would love to see it. Um, I'm not going to read the box. That's up to you. Um, again, if you'd like to build one, that's awesome. Please show me. I would love to see it. Um, we're going to focus on instruments that are widely used today. Um, but it's important to understand that there's a long history that got us to today. Um, I'm saying I'm a lot. I apologize. The instruments still look the same and sound kind of the same, but they've just been upgraded. Uh, in other cases, there's been huge advances in how to use them and how to build them and uh, making them a better instrument. We're going to examine each one um, as well as look at some of the history behind them and then uh, go through each family. And that's continuing on. I am not going to read through the questions because they're different for everybody. Um, that's something you can do. Most of these are vocabulary. Some of them are not. Uh, that doesn't mean you can't just scroll back up when you have the lesson or listen to the video again to get the answer. Because the answers are all right there for you. You're doing a fantastic job. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Please ask questions if you have questions. Please, please, please. That's, that's what I'm here for. I'm here for you. All right? Uh, have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.